Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can interact with anything in Unreal Engine 5. So I've got two different things here. This is a bit of a work in progress of a prototype I've been working on. Um, but if I come over here I can click and I've got this uh, screen which I can interact with. And I've also got this pin pad which I can interact with and do stuff with that as well. In a follow-up video I'll be showing you how we can actually get these uh, UI to work when we interact with them including this one where we can put in a password and we've got lots of different emails that we can read through. That's going to be in a follow-up video but today we're just going to be covering the actual interaction system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a new project. I'm going to be working with the first person uh, template so let's start up Unreal Engine 5. This will work in Unreal Engine 4 as well and I'm going to go to games, first person, Let's call this uh, interact demo and hit create. Okay, so we've got the first person template here. If we hit play, we can run around, pick up this gun and then fire our gun uh, into the world. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go to edit and project settings. And we're gonna make two changes here. So first thing, we're gonna search for trace channel. I spelt it right, trace channel. And we're going to create a new trace channel and I'm going to call this uh, interact and uh, I'm going to set this to ignore for the default response so that way we can choose specifically which things we want to block the interact channel so we'll hit accept and then we're going to go over to input and underneath action mappings we've already got two here from the template I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this interact as well and I'm going to set this to the E key so I'm going to click the little keyboard symbol there and press E or well, we could have selected it from list but it's nice and easy if you click that and it listens for an input so we'll set that to the E key so now what we want to do is we want to find the blue the first person blueprint character which is the thing that we are controlling in the world and we can do that by going to the first person folder in our content browser and go to blueprints and bp underscore first person characters let's double click and open that up see here here's all the logic for our first person character we're just going to come to a clear bit of the graph and let's right click and we can look for the interact action event which is what we've just made so we've got pressed and released here when we press this key we want to fire a beam out into the world and see if we've hit anything that is flagged as interactable so let's drag out from this and we can do a trace by channel we'll do a line trace by channel the trace channel we're going to look for is our interact channel which is what we've just made so we can select our interact channel so for the start position we're going to get our first person camera we're going to drag in this to drag this into the graph just drop that there and then we're going to drag off from this and we're going to say get world location. And this is going to be our start point. So this ray is going to start from the camera and it, we need to shoot a beam out a certain distance forward into the world. And this is forward from the camera's perspective. So let's get the forward vector of our camera. And we want to multiply, we want to multiply this by some sort of range. So um, because this will only send it one unit forward and obviously that's not going to be a, a good kind of length so we can make a variable I'm going to call this uh, interact range this is going to be a float let's compile it and then by default we'll set this to uh, 200 we're going to get our interact range we're going to multiply our forward vector by the interact range. This gives us a direction, but to make it into an end position, we need to add this direction and length uh, forward into the world to our world location. So we can pull off the world location, get an add node, pull off the uh, relation here, and we can set this to our end point. And then for draw debug type, I'm just going to put um, for duration and for the draw time we'll just leave it at the default 5 so we'll be able to see this in the world. So 
So if we hit save, and we'll close our blueprint for now, and we go into the world, if we press E, and then look, you can see that there's a line. So the camera was here, it's gone forward into the world, 200 units forward from the camera position. So anything that was here or along that line, if it was flagged as interactable, we can do something with that. And you might want to play with the range of the beam if you want the player to be able to interact with stuff a bit further out in front of them. So that's our line trace working. So next we need to make a blueprint interface. We're going to right click create a new folder and we'll call this blueprints. And let's go into this and we'll right click create a folder and we'll call this uh, interfaces. And then in our interfaces folder we can right click create and under blueprints we'll choose blueprint interface and we're going to call this bpi underscore uh, interact now let's go back to our first person character blueprint we've got our line trace which we know is working it's shooting something out into the world so let's right click and split the struct pin of our out hit and then we see we get lots of different options one we want to look for is out hit hit actor so this is if we hit anything that's on the interact channel we're going to get a reference to that actor and we can drag out from that and we can cast that to our new interface that we've just made so cast to bpi underscore interact let's just open up our blueprint base that we just created and let's rename this function that comes by default and we'll name that interact so we can't put any logic in this graph because it's read only we actually have to implement the logic for our interact in any blueprints that implement this interface which i'll i'll show you that in a second um but all we care about is if we find something that implements this uh, bpi interact we now know that that has a function on it called interact all our interact function and if the cast fails let's just print uh, a string say um, object doesn't have interface so that's our interact logic done on the blueprint for the character let's just compile save and we can close that and we can compile save and close our interface now we need something in the world to interact with so let's go back to our project browser and under blueprints right click create a blueprint class and we'll just choose a simple actor and i'm going to call this bp underscore uh, interact test so this could be the computer or the pin pad like the example in the start so we'll double click and open our new blueprint and to this i'm going to add a cube collider sorry a box collider i'm going to drag that and make it the scene root that's box is the sort of top level of our blueprint and then as a child of our box let's just make add a cube just so we can see it visually and let's just scale this down a bit uh, 0.5 that'll do and then um, file save and then we come up to class settings we'll choose this and then down here we see implemented interfaces and we currently have none implemented so let's select add and then we can search for bpi underscore and we've got our interact blueprint uh, interface here and we can choose this hit compile hit save and this is an important step so with our box collision if we scroll down to collision we've got overlap all dynamic what we actually want to do is we can choose block all and then click custom we need to set our interact channel to be block so we're going to fire a beam out into the world and we're looking for stuff that blocks this interact channel so this thing does if we hit it we're going to check for the interface which it does implement and we're going to call the interfaces interact function so we can get rid of all of this stuff in our interact test uh, graph and then under functions if we choose override and search for interact we can override this function so it creates this event interact here and we drag out from this print a string 
and we can say interacting with test actor file hit save so all being well that should work so drag our blueprint into the world so here's our test and just set it flow in there and we'll hit play so if we press e now nothing happens because we're not uh, hitting anything on the interact channel but if we come over to our cube and hit e you can see that now it says interacting with test actor so that's our interact complete and obviously you can have you know doors computers pin pads anything um your first person blueprint doesn't care what it is it just cares that it implements this interface and then we can make the logic on our actual actor in the world so in the case of the computer i can open up the ui for that pin pad i open up the ui for that and then if that ui is successful a door would open after a successful code so yeah, that is how to interact with anything in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'd just like to take a minute to thank my wonderful Patreon supporters. In the 10,000 XP tier, we have John Smart and Trey Briggs. And in the 4,000 XP tier, we have all of these wonderful patrons on screen now. Thanks for all your support.